Welcome to another amazing installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm here to show you the Oxford house type by Miller Homes, which is behind me. This beautiful rendered property is a five bedroom, three bathroom property, and the approximate size of it is just over 2,000 square feet. The price is available on application and all the details are in the description. So stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Hello, welcome home, come inside, let's get cozy and let's start the tour. Ah, the moment I close that door, it is so quiet in here. So the acoustics in here must be just top, top tier. So now that we've come into the entrance hall or the hallway, um, I'm sure you can see how spacious and wide it is. I really can't say enough about the proportions of this space. I am loving it. So they've got this inbuilt um, protective matting, which I absolutely love. They've built that in. So forget about having, you know, like a slippery rug or something. You have that built in, wipe your shoes off, and then obviously put the shoes down there, which I will do actually for this tour. So, so anyway, let's start with what first impressions in this space we've got our front door and can you see how wide this front door is it's a lot wider than what i'm used to seeing but i also like that you've got two vision panels two uh frosted panels either side they're bringing in so much light into this space and then you've got one in the middle and it's frosted so it's really nice and private if we scoot around we've got access up to the first floor and then we've got a little area here where they've put like a little bench which is great for changing shoes Obviously, you can put like a little storage unit or a console here. You've got a door here, which I'll show you in a second. That's the main space and then another door and then another door. And you can just see that it's not tight at all. So which space should we go to first, Brian? This one or, okay, that one. So through this door, we've got the front room. It is kind of like a snug living room. Could be like a formal dining if you wanted it to be, a games room. I could go on, but it's uh, staged at the moment as a semi, semi kind of like study and a living area. And you've got like this amazing square bay window at the front, bringing in so much natural light. So, Like I said, I love the bay window, the square shape around it, and it overlooks the front garden. So you can kind of like work here and then see who's coming up to the house. Again, I look around the room and I know you can't see this on camera, but the fittings, the finishings of this show home are like really good quality. Not only is it really quiet in here, it's super warm and cozy. Um, so there's no like drafts or anything like that. And it's just a really nice peaceful space. Um, I really love it. So yeah, as you can see, it's a nice size for a living room, a very versatile room. If you wanna make it a bedroom, you can do that as well. So coming back into the hallway, I forgot to mention, there is a radiator here and there's a cover over the radiator. So, you know, it's nice and warm. Again, I keep kind of talking about those type of details. Behind you this way is the next room, which I'm gonna show you, which is the downstairs toilet. So you can see the gorgeous wallpaper in here. It's just fabulous. You've got a towel rail, which I like versus a radiator. And then it's a two piece suite. So you've got your toilet here and your sink by ideal standard and they've shared the tiling as a splash back there and overall it's a really nice size i like the flooring and the fact that it continues all the way into the space it's a luxury vinyl tile but again that's something you can specify if you wanted to the next room we're not going to go into straight away but i'm going to show you this space which is your under stair storage and i always love when developers um utilize all the space for storage so that's nice to have you can have that as your cloak but then let's go over here to your formal lounge wow look at this guys look how big this is ta-da <laughs> it's a fantastic space it's basically like an upsized version of the one opposite because you've got a larger bay window here it might actually be the same size but it feels larger because the room's bigger You've got a bay window here, a square one, giving you views of the side of the property and the front radiator under there. You've got an armchair here, and then you've just got all the space. You've got a coffee table in the middle. And can you see how big this L-shaped sofa is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's at least a seven seater. That's quite a large family, isn't it? So you've got a L-shaped sofa, focal point over there. Obviously this is staging but it's nice to see what you can do with the space. And they've put two pendant lights in here, 
which again shows you kind of like the size of the room the only room we haven't toured on the ground floor is this 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 space wow 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 my eyes are darting around them because i keep seeing more and i can't wait to show you it so where should we begin um let's start over here this is really clever um so in our line of work as architects we get a lot of requests for bars entertainment areas so it's kind of really creative to put that in here obviously this is a movable bar you can make this into like a cozy seating area dining table could be more towards this angle but i really like this this is really creative when it comes to staging isn't it so this is your bar area but really it's whatever you want to make of it and then from the bar area there's a room over there and i'm just thinking shall i show them the room first so through this room guess what look at this incredible i love this this is something i haven't really seen in most new built houses so sliding retractable pocket doors love it so this can close off this playroom which is basically another bonus room so let's say you don't have any young children this could be your games room adult games room bar cinema room what or dining closable dining for like maybe like a formal dinner you've got a sofa here a radiator pendant light tv tv focal point over here and then we've got double doors facing the back garden over there and i love that and we'll show you views of the garden from the other side i love this this is fantastic and then as we spin around look at this this is just amazing wow this is incredible incredible so let's start over here they've put it a sofa here so it's a really nice kind of living area very comfortable from the living area you kind of lean um you move over to the dining area you can see it's an eight seat at the moment but there's loads of space there's like a series of roof lights above this space so there's so much light coming down into this and then my back is facing these amazing bifolding doors so i like the way these are done actually in the aluminium that's an extra thing so that's an upgrade from upvc and then you can open these up or fold them to that side and then it's overlooking the garden at the back Oh yes, before I forget as well, there's also a double garage and there's access to the garden from that area over there. You can just see your garden over there. Sorry guys, we don't have access to the garden, but um, you will have pav paving slabs and lawn and fencing and no landscaping. Okay, so now let's move over around here. We've got another radiator there. So maybe you can have your seating area actually over here. If you wanted your dining room to be in that separate room, you could have this be like your living area but I like the fact that it's so versatile you've got a kitchen island here with so much space to walk around it so it is almost like the perfect sized kitchen island I love the worktop this granite worktop and the shaker style cream doors with the um I think this might be brush chrome handles I just love the pairings of everything it's quite a classic look as well you've got your extract which is a down uh, a bulkhead extract which is basically coming down from the ceiling and it creates a focal point and it obviously extracts all the smells which is great for this open plan space you've got a break breakfast bar option on the other side of this with these um i want to say stools but basically these high chairs i love it three three of the three chairs at the moment but you could obviously do four and then we've got the kitchen which i will begin shortly to show you the kitchen so you've got storage, storage, storage. You've got recessed lighting underneath and these chrome face plates to the sockets, probably an upgrade. You've got your bank of sockets there. Let's try not to look at the appliances, which are fantastic. Let's look at what we're actually getting. We're getting storage, soft closers, storage again, storage, dishwasher by AEG, one and a half ball sink by Blanco, a fantastic company a window in front of the sink and have you seen my favorite um worktop upstand detail and sill detail i love this and then we've got more storage over here <laughs> it's very well staged convincingly almost like someone may be using this kitchen so storage all the way ample storage and then it continues over here you've got your fridge freezer arrangement over here 
and then you've got integrated kitchen appliances over here by AEG as well and then you've got just so much storage just next to the kitchen we've got the utility room which is which you can completely close off by the way oh and did you notice these handles super super nice if you come into here we've got the utility in the same style as the kitchen with this granite worktop with a beveled edge and there's just so much storage as well there isn't a sink in this utility but maybe that's a question you can ask the developer and then the boiler of course is here and this is a potter ton boiler here love it and then there's a door of course which is side access to your garden at the back i absolutely love it the flooring is fantastic the color palette is amazing we've got spotlights on the ceiling this is an ideal entertainment family kind of like hub and i just love this space so let's keep moving and let's go to the first floor or oh, upstairs <laughs> it's commonly known now that we're on the first floor i just want to like spend a couple of seconds admiring this like landing and the wood woodwork here as well i love the whole carpeted landing but let's go and look at the first bedroom shall we not before actually <laughs> admiring this amazing chandelier pendant i absolutely love it what an amazing idea as well so that's really good to have so let's keep walking around and this is room number one number one is green themed it's jungle themed oh my gosh brian look at this oh my gosh this is absolutely amazing they've had someone come in and paint this mural oh my god these people are creative as in the staging experts but again we're here for the architecture right so this is room number one it's a really nice nicely sized double bedroom don't be fooled it's not a single in space wise it could be but i'm so sure if you flip the bed around maybe you could fit a small double here with two bedsides either side i love this as well this is fantastic so at the moment guys it is being staged as a single a kid's bedroom which i think they can grow into you've got this large window with two opening lights facing the front of the property which is great for seeing who's coming and it's fully carpeted it's super cute i love the mural on the wall which goes all the way up to the ceiling so it's very creative playful nice size very practical and now let's go to the next room the next room the next room is this one which is the family bathroom it's a four-piece suite because you've got a toilet sink bath and a shower in the corner i absolutely love the layout of it as well and this little handheld device is great for pets and it's just been beautifully done love the tiling there's a window as well lots of light and ventilation love the tiling on the floor as well yeah and there's a towel rail as well love it rain head shower feature let's go to the next room which is over here this room is such a nice guest room so this is obviously i mean i want to say it's a king but do you think it's a king i think it might be i want to say super king it's a very very large bed it's a king size bed at the very least with two bedside tables a wall-to-wall -wall headboard we've got views of the back garden as well so you can see views look how cute this development is as well you've got a radiator under your window you've got a wardrobe here with sliding doors Ta-da! with storage and it's built in and it doesn't take away space from the room at all and then you've got your own ensuite so in this ensuite you've got tiling i like this this um feature they keep doing which is the tiling on the sills you've got a window you've got a sink and toilet by ideal standard and if you come around here there is a large shower with the same detail we saw in the family bathroom it's got the rain head feature isn't that amazing to have that in an ensuite rain head handheld feature and then the actual shower valve here and the shower tray it's a very nice size and you've got a towel rail as well and now let's go to the next room so now we are in yet another spacious bedroom proportion wise it's incredible 
do please 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 do not be put off by the dark colors this is a very big bedroom because it not only fits a king size bed with bed sides and there's still space either side it's got tall ceilings and it's got views of the back garden as well radiator underneath and from here you can actually see the roof lights that were over the dining area downstairs and you can see a double garage on the right i love it i am so excited i gotta keep my excitement down i'm trying to temper it wardrobe area over here you can go wall to wall if you wanted so you can see from here to here you can have wardrobe so as the you know, obviously as the, your child or guest grows older you can they'll probably have more stuff won't they or maybe less but you can just have that for future proofing and then again another amazing mural on the ceiling it's of american football and i just love it the commitment to the staging is so awesome and then we've got this door here which is a mystery door because it contains the hot water cylinder so this is the mega flow unit that powers all the thermostatic showers in this property so the final final additional bedroom is this one so this is a single bedroom slash study office work from home space cinema snug whatever you want it to be but it's been staged as a nursery again another hand painted mural you can just feel the paint this is just amazing i just love it in terms of space it is a single bed you probably won't be able to fit a double bed except it's put against the wall you've got a little uh, rocking chair there and window facing the front of the property radiator it's quite a cute little radiator isn't it but it is a single bedroom guys and that's it so this is the final room or is it now i'm going to show you my absolute favorite favorite room of course it's going to be the primary bedroom so let's come inside and i'm just going to give us a moment to just enjoy the space whoa wow incredible wow 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 okay where do we even begin it's just what a lovely room lovely room um you're probably wondering why she's so hyped up about this room you know master bedrooms they're always big it's the proportions of the room can you see how much space at the foot of the bed the bed itself is a king size bed and when brian kind of scoots around you'll be able to see how big it is you've got a floor to ceiling headboard for staging a million cushions on the bed and still we've got ample space king super king bed with um bedside table there bedside table there a little armchair a little bench here if you're a tv watcher you can have a dresser there with a tv above um, and then you've got another little nook here, dressing table. It's just so flipping versatile. I love the curtains, the floor to ceiling ones, which are so on trend. And then you've got the triple window facing the property, the front of the property with two opening sides. Great for ventilation. And then also just to mention the design of the windows, they only have like a little divider, a little bar in the middle. So it's not blocking your view. You know, it's not like the really traditional ones with lots of sections. And then you've got these amazing ceiling mounted bedside table lamps oh my god this is just amazing that's obviously not going to be standard comment below <laughs> does anyone did anyone buy this house type and this was a standard fitting let me know and then another window here i love this so you know um you can have uh, views of the side of property and the front and then there's more so this is a whole sliding wall unit of storage. It is incredible, guys. Floor to ceiling, wardrobes on both sides in the kind of quote unquote his and hers, hers, hers and hers or his and his. <laughs> so there's just so much space. Floor to ceiling and it's fitted wardrobes, one less headache. And this space with the mirrors is a fantastic place to get ready. And then at the very end, you've got your own suite with a large window facing the garden. It's fully frosted, so it's private. I like this. I don't think I've seen this before. It's definitely not Ikea. And then you've got your, um, <laughs> what is this? I'm joking. <laughs> Sit, floating sink, toilet, and then your towel rail, crow. And then you've got your shower over here. And sometimes we do see bathtubs in en suites. We don't really need one. I think most people prefer the convenience of a shower. I love the tiling 
contrast between the white and the dark gray and then you've got the rain head which is just a standard across all the showers in this property and then the sliding glass door so yes guys i'm so happy you've made it this far in this tour and i've been so excited to in this house i think i might even start giving houses a well, Sure Homes, a rating system. This would definitely be really, really up there. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it before disappearing and subscribe because we notice in our data that 60% of you aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those people who love our videos and you're just thinking, I'll subscribe tomorrow, please subscribe right now. We'll wait for you. And in the meantime, there'll be a video for you to click on and watch next and we'll see you then. Bye.